Good morning, everyone. Today's verse of the day is going to be a continuation from a verse a long time ago. Verse of the day number 22 is steadfast love endures forever. So the verse of the day is Psalm 136, verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. I'm bringing this verse back up because it's it's been a long time ago, but I was going through this with my wife and kids, and I realized how pertinent it is, how, how so many times we go for people who are the opposite of steadfast love and in verse of day number number 22 i play a song that talks about his reckless love how god has a reckless love let me play that clip real quick and you have been so so kind come on every voice lift it all So I played this clip about his reckless love and I was showing that no, God doesn't have reckless love at all. He has steadfast love. But as 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5 says, but understand this, that in last days there will come times of difficulty for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, reckless, you hear that? Reckless, swollen with conceit, lover of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but denying its power, avoid such people. Isn't it strange that a Christian group can give God the attribute of being reckless when actually it says that the people in the latter time will be reckless. And I brought that up because there are two ways that we deal with people who happen to have reckless love. And I'm going to talk about the first way today and then tomorrow I'll talk about the second. The first type of people that we deal with to have reckless love that are super close to us can sometimes be our parents. Sometimes parents aren't always there for their children. Sometimes they're like that song, Papa was a rolling stone. They don't pay child support. They don't come around, but only when they feel like it they they like children like they like puppies they're cute one minute but besides that they don't want to have anything to do with it and i was teaching this to my kids in the hopes that they do not ever do that to their children that they realize how important it is for a parent to have steadfast love for their child because the biggest representation of, of what God is like is in the father figure, is in the mother figure. How we are there for them no matter what. No matter what circumstance, we're always there for them. That's how it should be. And when we run into parents, when sometimes children have parents that aren't always there for them and aren't, aren't providing for them and loving them and nurturing them no matter what, it gives them a bad sense of who God is. It gives them a bad sense of who God is, so they are less likely to want to know about God and accept Him as their Heavenly Father. So I was telling that to my children, because in that same instance, 
That is why whenever I see them treat us a certain way, whether they don't do their chores, whether they tell us they're going to do something and then they don't, when they lie to us sometimes, when they disobey us sometimes, it gives me a fear in the future of what are they going to be like to their children. Are they going to prom make promises to their kids and not keep them? Are they going to disappear on them? Are they going to do halfway things on them? And that is one of the reasons that me and my wife get so upset sometimes when they do things like that because we are not just worried about them and their relationship with God. We're worried about them and their relationship with their children. So... That is one of the big reasons that, that I brought this up to them. Because God, he's not reckless. He's steadfast. He's always there for us. And I'm going to continue this talk tomorrow because it's something that it shouldn't just be skimmed over. I guess it'd be part three tomorrow that I'd discuss it. Because the first part was in verse a day, number 22. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for this day, Lord. Please give us good understanding and we may we not have reckless love when dealing with people. And thank you for being steadfast in your ways. May many be saved. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.